a game that speaks for itself in so many ways. A stadium bursting at the seams with excitement and two terrific teams ready to give it everything in their quest for glory. The kind of match that's impossible to take your eyes off even for a brief second. It's Manchester City, they take on Real Madrid and it's coming up next on EA TV. The stage is set and the players are just about ready here in Manchester. We're at the home of City this evening. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It is Manchester City taking on Real Madrid. Well, the first game of the group is so vital. You just can't get off to a losing start. This could be a tight battle today, Derek. And defending as a unit. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson stands between the posts. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Carvajal starts with David Alaba as fullbacks. Luka Modric plays alongside Federico Valverde in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Well, a fraction wide, but he planted the seed of fear in the mind of the keeper, I think. Well, that was an excellent strike. So close to being a really top-class free kick. Carvajal. Well, it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action. He can be absolutely unstoppable, and we should expect that he'll have a prominent role to play in this one, Stuart. Well, he's one of those players you want the ball to go to. He's such an exciting... Oh, wait a minute. They could be in here. Decent enough idea. Shame about the execution. Well, I don't think that was good enough. I also think it was the wrong option. David Alaba. Attacking possibilities for Real. Long way out. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Played over and swept out of there. Look at Modric. David Alaba. Rodrigo. Now with course. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Holland. Very quick thinking there. Valverde. Rodri. Holland. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. Well, somehow goalkeeper got to it <laughs> who can they pick out fisted clear cuts it back it's a perfect challenge
So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. Modric! And there it is! 1-0! Their efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. Well, there you have it. Pep's team are struggling here. He needs to change one or two things. So City get the match restarted. Can they come up with an equaliser having conceded? Manuel Akanji. Here's Alvarez. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Teammates available. Could be. Alaba. Vinicius Jr. Rodri, Akanji has it. Given away by City. Modric. A City free kick forthcoming. <laughs> and he takes it on. Well, considering the position of that free kick, that was an outrageous effort. So close. Well, it's a great strike, but just not quite the accuracy he was looking for. Well, they're getting close, but Pep Guardiola knows they need to be more clinical here. Eder Militao. Here's Carvajal. Rodrigo. And on to Bellingham. Can they convert? Oh, that's a fine save. Trying to pick out a teammate. It might be. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. So on the cusp of the half-time interval and Real Madrid with a narrow lead. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen from them in this half? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus... As oh, Stuart, an opportunity! And fine goalkeeping. And there's the delivery, and still dangerous. Magnificent defending. A routine save. So two minutes of stoppage time here.
and continues his run. Holland. Oh, it's cheeky. And so the half-time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. Well, usually a standout and was in the first half, Luka Modric. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. The ball moving again. Real have the lead, but they won't be taking anything for granted. Vinicius Jr. Good work from City to win back the ball. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Jeremy Doku. And Valverde. And support available. And Bellingham. Oh, genuine chance. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Phil Foden. Now Holland. Able to skip past his man. An alert piece of defending. Surely the equaliser. Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. A change in the offing for City. And deciding to go short with this one. Under real pressure here. Modric. Here's Carvajal. This attack looks highly promising. Valverde. Big chance. Nicely blocked. Vinicius Jr. It's there for him. And a goal it is for Real Madrid. They are on a victory course. Well, I have to say, that's a good finish. He knew exactly what he wanted to do there. He's just passed it into the corner. That's a nice goal. Well, who would be a manager? You can just sense the frustration on Pep Guardiola's face, can't you? So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Holland. Now with Silva. And the advantage is with City. You certainly can't fault them for trying as they keep the pressure on. Well, that was a decent effort, and you just sense the goal's coming here. Carvajal Rudiger and passing it well nice switch of play Luka Modric cross well the 
post got in the way. Well, I can't believe that didn't go in. So close to finishing this game off. Walker. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Silva. Bernardo Silva. Opportunity. And there is the goal. Well, that changes the equation. And they have the momentum now. Well, this replay shows just how good Bernardo Silva is when he runs with the ball. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, that wasn't in the script, was it? And Ancelotti's face says it all. He's not happy. So, back in action. City still behind, but this game very much a contest. Well, they're a bit like a passing machine, and you can understand why they want to play it that way in front as they are. It is a decent-looking attack here. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Nacho. Now with Valverde. And back to Valverde. Rodrigo. What an important piece of defending. Well, if these City players aren't inspired now, they never will be. These fans have been brilliant. Time is against Manchester City, but still they could hit back. This could be the equaliser. And a goal! My goodness, they've changed the course of this game. Level now. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place, and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Well, that picture says it all. Pep Guardiola's team are back in the game now. Well, I imagine there were many who had counted them out. This has been quite the fight back. And it's positive from Manchester City. Is it in the cards for them to score a late winner? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. This might be ideal for the counter. Up, plenty of pressure. Foden. Bernardo Silva. Can they create something? Oh, that's a splendid save. Well, so late in the game. That's a magnificent stop. And the substitution will occur now. Going short. Well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? Now sending it in. Well, the keeper made that look relatively easy. In truth, it wasn't. And City on the front foot near the end of this contest. Still level here. Well, sometimes you need inspiration from your goalkeeper. Well, he's pulled off a decent save here. But more importantly, they stay on level terms.
and he's fired over the corner and that's very confident goalkeeping in not easy circumstances and there's the referee's whistle these two sides cannot be separated again here the first period of extra time and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now it's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes very quick thinking there Chouameni oh he's given us away and Bernardo Silva has it. And the ball is loose. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Well, it's still all level here, thanks to that magnificent piece of goalkeeping. You just can't believe that City haven't taken the lead here. Well, now they've got to concentrate on keeping the door locked. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Three, two it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Nacho Fernandez. Rodrigo. And it's played into the center. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Grealish. Uh, winning back possession. Holland. And a precise challenge just when it was required. Chouameni. And Bellingham. He must finish. And there is the goal. He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, let's take another look. It's a really well-timed pass to break the offside line. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Vinicius Jr., Oh, what an opportunity. Oh, yes, a goal. Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him.
Well, that's it for the first period of extra time. Let's see what the second has in store. Well, the big question, who will come out on top? We're into the second period of extra time here. Well, he's certainly not alone. Rodrigo. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Holland. And now Rodrigo. Rodrigo. And Bellingham. Corner given to Real Madrid. Elects to go short. Gives it a go. He's blocked it. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Alvarez. Well, five minutes remaining in this the second period of extra time. And he's in. Well, it might still work out for them. And eventually, goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the relief amongst his teammates, but what a first save that was. Alvarez. And they need to get tighter here. It will be a goal kick here. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Opportunity it is. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, who would be a manager? You can just sense the frustration on Pep Guardiola's face, can't you? So, full time it is. And a morale boosting three points on the board to begin the European campaign. Yeah, that's a good win and a vital three points. Another win next time out and they'll be in a great position.